This looks like an oil painting. But look closer. This whole picture was made from fallen leaves, each chosen for its natural texture and color. No paints at all were used. For his materials, this artist doesn't go to an art shop. He heads for the forest. Kazuo Akasaki is now 65. On a mountain walk when he was 43, he had a sudden flash of inspiration while looking at a pile of fallen leaves. Here were color tones with a feeling he had never seen in any paintings. It then took five years of tests to solve the problem of insect damage before Mr. Akasaki was ready to present his new art form. First, he sprays the leaves with insecticide and presses them for three years. A stalk of about 40 kinds of leaves provides all the colors he needs. There's green pumpkin gourd, bright red ivy, and pure white poplar. The tools couldn't be simpler. He uses scissors or a knife to cut each leaf to match his rough sketch, and then pastes it to the base. Each leaf is carefully chosen for its unique texture as well as color. It may look simple, but it's a painstaking task. It can take up to six months to complete one picture. Mr. Akasaki has created about 150 leaf pictures, many of which have won awards. Dried leaves evoke wistful, rather sad feelings, and he often chooses themes that reflect these emotions. Fallen leaves have shapes and colors. It's just not possible to make artificially. I like this feeling of working closely with nature. Mr. Akasaki's dream is to get more people to share his fascination with this eco-friendly art form. He hopes it will become accepted as a regular part of art instruction in schools and adult education. To Mr. Akasaki, a fallen leaf is like a diamond. Just as we bring out the beauty of a diamond by cutting and polishing, through his work, he reveals the beauty that lies under our feet of the otherwise forgotten fallen leaves.